Hello daydreamers, welcome to Small Town Creative, a channel devoted to helping you survive and thrive in your journey as an independent artist. Today I'm going to treat you to a fictional fantasy world where you'll watch me create a powerful friendship, experience a terrible tragedy, and discover my ultimate purpose. Here's a hint. It involves you. I initially released this as three episodes. Today, you get the full story in one seamless video. The story begins with Michael, our protagonist, alone with an idea. When I was alone, I had an idea. I'm making a friend in my imagination. I start him in here and build him in there. I then bring him out with laser jets and then to the workshop to cut him out of magical wood. Stand on the edges and spray with the claws Until it looks so good The greatest love I feel Is many enough for two If only he were real I wouldn't be so alone I thought I was facing an impossible situation When I remembered something my unusually intelligent daughter told me when the physical presence of a friend is impossible, technology kicks in to form a new kind of friendship, the digital kind. <gasps> Thank you. I began the search for a digital individual I could connect with online. <laughs> That's not what I was looking for. <laughs> Social media groups? They're useful but I do need someone that's available at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Hire somebody? <laughs> That'd be nice. Do we even have the money for that? Uh, uh, mm. I just know that there's somebody out there who just loves to make things, sing ridiculous songs, and eat peanut butter out of the jar as much as I do. <laughs> George Bernard Shaw said, that life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. If I can't find somebody like me, what other option do I have? Bottoms up. Dizzy Dizzy. <laughs> Everything was great. Busy was the greatest friend I could ever have imagined. He had this propensity for problem solving and was very good at it. Mm. Sure, he had a few glitches, but I think that's expected when one creature emerges as a duplicate of another. <laughs> Within the same time and space as his clone. Does anybody have any ore? I do. How many do you need? I need three, and I can trade. What? I'm happy to help. You've been happy to help this entire game. Get me a settlement, and that's game. Forget it. Okay. Over the next couple of days, I noticed that the glitching got much worse. It seemed as if every time Busy helped me hmm. solve some dilemma, his health would decrease. Okay. Also, he began to age very quickly. Something was missing, and we're running out of time. There must be something I could do. So we pulled together the best minds we could and entered into the most intense brainstorm session to consider ways that we could save Busy once and for all. 
we knew that it was Michael's dilemma to find true friendship coupled with imagination that brought Busy into our world. But imagination alone couldn't sustain him. Evie, it's almost time for me to go. It's impossible for Michael and I both to inhabit the same universe while in this vessel. It's too unstable. Oh. But there just might be another way. fun while it lasted. No! I can't solve my creative dilemmas without you! I need you! You never needed me. The answers were always within you. I still don't want you to go. Here, take this in remembrance of me. And know that I'll never leave your side. <laughs> what does that even mean? You'll see. See what? Busy! Busy, no! <laughs> Busy, my life will never be the same. Do I even have a purpose? I can't do this on my own. My best friend is gone. My creative career is at a standstill. And the bills are stacking up. What is this? Final notice. Great. Tenant, we have attempted to reach you several times to collect your rent payment. Your account is critically past due. If you don't make a payment within the next seven days, we will be forced to vacate you from the premises. Good day. loneliest moments, it seems as if the world around us is having a grand celebration, and we're the only ones who weren't invited. If Busy were here, he'd know what to do. I could really use your help right now, buddy. Maybe I don't deserve to be happy. Maybe I'm destined to be alone. Maybe I'm... I'm... When the physical presence of a friend is impossible, technology kicks in to form a new kind of friendship. The digital kind. I just know that there's somebody out there who just loves to make things, sing ridiculous songs, and eat peanut butter out of the jar as much as I do. Here, take this in remembrance of me, and know that I'll never leave your side. What does that even mean? You'll see. Busy! Busy, no! <laughs> Whoa. 
That was messed up. You're not kidding. Ah, uh, I blinked. You win. Ah! <laughs> Michael, it's okay. It's me, Busy. Busy? But how? It's kind of complicated. A dilemma I've been working on since episode one. Try me. In short, you designed and created a wooden toy from your imagination to bring you comfort during your first dilemma. Yeah, to find a friend with similar interests. Yes, and when you blended your dilemma with the super secret formula to create a clone of yourself, <clears throat> me, as flesh and blood in this three-dimensional world, it worked. However, the laws of time and space would not allow for two of the same biological entities to exist in the same dimension. Which explains your accelerated aging last episode. Exactly. So, how did you end up in this form? Okay, this is where irony meets destiny. Before I departed, you were hard at work with the greatest minds trying to figure out a way to sustain my three-dimensional form. As we discovered, that was impossible to do. But what you never realized was that the work was halfway done from the very beginning when you designed a graphic in the second dimension, printed and cut me out of magical wood, which would become the perfect vessel for me to later infuse my lifeblood. Which allows you to remain in the third dimension, right? Yes. Well, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? Well, there is one minor complication. To avoid an interdimensional feedback loop, I can only leave the second dimension and enter yours when you have a creative problem to solve. So you're here to help me solve a problem. Please tell me you're going to pay my rent for me. <laughs> While I can't help you there, my solution for you is far greater. But before we take one more step, you need to discover your one goal. It was then that Busy told me about the importance of having a reason for being, and how this will help me to point my creative career in the right direction. My reason for being is to help people who are looking to live the life of their dreams to solve creative problems. Perfect. Now what is a practical target you can aim at, and the skill you possess that enables you to do it? I can use the power of storytelling to help 1,000 of these people. Yeah. Maybe we should give these people a name. Daydreamers! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed Busy's origin story. With Busy's help, I was able to pinpoint my one goal, which is to help you discover the work you love and build the skills you need to solve the problems that matter the most to your audience. Please click thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to join the tribe. We'll see you next time.